my cup with some job love. Sit on down, let's talk it up. I know some laughing lattes, laughing lattes. Welcome to episode 10 of Life and Lattes with Liv and Cole. I'm Liv. And I'm Cole. <laughs> yeah, okay. I thought I'd draw it out just, <laughs> just for episode 10 or. Tenor. Get it? Because I sung it tenor. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's not as, the joke's not funny when you have to explain it, but I, I get I know. it. But I just wanted to make sure that you were aware we were on the same page, but that's okay. That's all right. I episode 10. <laughs> Y'all, it's, it's a milestone, right? Yeah, I think we were getting close to like 400 downloads too. We are. Not too shabby. Not too shabs. We appreciate y'all so much. We, I mean, we don't, but it's fine. Oh, no, wow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dang. <laughs> we have no downloads after this. Right. Just, nope. Just everybody <laughs> fell off. No one like, listens. Nope. Liv kidding. said it, not me, okay? I'm kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> okay. Tell them what we're going to talk about. Talk about. Talk about. Talk about. Talk talk okay, about. Read you. Tell them what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> so we're going to talk about the coffee we're drinking today, mm. which sucks. Oh, I don't like to say it. I know, but I'm going to. All right. Because it's no bueno. Okay. <laughs> We've had 10 episodes of fantastical coffee. This is bad. I'm sad about it. I'm not well, I, know, I mean, I wanted or, it to be good. Also, I'm just sad because it doesn't taste good and we have to drink this. So we're, I wanted coffee back. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. It's not your fault. We tried something different, right? It is brewed low and slow. That's what it says on the side. Yeah, okay. How do you stoke? I think so. Right? Cold brew coffee. Low and slow. 10-hour brew. Should have brewed it a little longer. Um... <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> you're geeked out and caffeinated. That's us. We're coffee nerds and proud of it. We get all fired up on the method and the process. And even though it's not rocket science, there's enough exper- experimentation. I can't do anything. By the way, today. Cole is reading the bottle right now. Yeah, sorry. He's not just like making. This, this is off up. the cuff. <laughs> um, uh, what a, uh, but, uh, drive normal people crazy because that's how we like it. For us, good enough is never good enough. So it's their unsweet black coffee because they have a variety of like different kinds. Well, I just, I know that we did ice today. I understand We did. That. We did ice because we're doing like a summertime theme. So I was like, let's do some iced coffee. Let's yeah. switch it up. Which I know normally that will water it down, but it's just, I'm, I'm barely getting any coffee flavor. Well, this is cold brew, which is usually like stronger than just normal iced coffee. Yep. So. Which is what I expected, but that's okay. And it says bold, bold and smooth, you know? I'm not getting the bold. It's hard yeah. to. We've had so many good coffees. I know. Where does this come out of? Does it say? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I don't know what that means. Let's see. I thought maybe <laughs> they. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, let's see. Colorado. Looks like I don't it. know. Huh. Anyways, yeah. it's okay. We gave it a we gave it a shot. We, we gave it a shot. We'll bring it around next week. <laughs> What are you looking at? I just was turning it around. Okay. okay. Um, so. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. We gave it a shot. It's all right. So. We're sad. Mostly just. I'm going to drink I'm it. Sad. I'm going to drink it because I need that caffeine. Yeah. So <laughs> we're talking about summer. summer. Mother's Day is right around the corner. Yeah. We were debating on whether to talk about it today, but I think, I think that'll work. Well, yeah. Because the hard thing is. Passed. Yeah. Because we record on Saturdays and then we post on Mondays. So we were like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Supposedly Liv has a, a fun mom story for us. I do. So I'm excited about that. I have two actually. Cause, uh, and then, um, Pam cakes. She's awesome. <laughs> Pam cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron and pan. <laughs> gosh insider yeah um and then we're gonna do some questions from y'all yeah we got some listener questions i don't know I, how many did you, did you end up getting a good amount yeah okay cool i had like a couple and they're fun they're different yeah so, so summer I know. so the I'm first so thing excited. i wanted to talk about was this so two things and i'm so happy that you brought it today so starbucks has started to roll out all of their summer stuff yes and i know the first big thing is S'mores Frappuccino. Yes. Have you ever had it? I haven't, but I'm not a big Frappuccino person. Okay. okay. I was when I was like 13, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But there's some days, you know, you just want to get you a good 
I mean, for me, some days I'm just like, I want something that's borderline milkshake like, and I'm gonna go get a frap. All right. And I've never had the s'mores one though. I didn't know it existed. Everybody's like, it's coming back. I was like, I didn't know it was yeah. here before. I mean, I feel like they always have like the ingredients and things to do it. They just right. Yeah, like, they're playing the play act. This I don't know the, new quote unquote new drink. So everyone has this urgency to go to Starbucks to it get works a drink. though, right? Well, yeah, it That's works. Why they do it. Did you have the unicorn one when it came Ew. out? Was it not good? No, I know I didn't have it. Oh, okay. That looks so. The color is so oh, unnatural. It was looking. so bright. It's like a neon light was like, inside of your frat. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try out it on that. On um, the s'mores one. You yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just why not? Have you ever had the ultra caramel? I have because Brad actually likes those. So oh. he he does like frappuccinos. Man, I needed to know that. That is blackmail at its finest. They're so good. I don't know how that's a blackmail. I'm just saying. Because he, you know how he, it's always a pushback against those things. Oh, I know. You and know? frappuccinos are like probably <laughs> Starbucks most expensive like drink and like all of that. And he like <sighs> wants to get a venti. <laughs> like have a heart attack looking at his drink. Oh, there's no way. I could never do a venti of that one. That one's so sweet. It's I mean, you, it's layer of whipped cream yeah. and then a layer of frappuccino and then whipped cream on top. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot of situations. Kate's over here just like, no, <laughs> coma. He's like throwing up. My God. <laughs> so then the other thing, and Liv has it in her hand, is the new Tumblr. Follow us on YouTube. You can see. Yeah. It's a rose gold. Like, they tried to make it look like it's got like gemstones on the outside of it's it. It's like. It is fancy. It's like, um, what are those things? Like studs. Yeah. Yep. But it's like, want like. They're all together. They don't look like separate <laughs> studs. So it's like, it's sparkly. It kind of makes like it look like it's edgy. covered in. Oh, it's so dope. Yeah. And the what's cool is we just noticed that the front of it is like the logo, but it's like a window into the yeah into the like cup. A, like a frosted It's cool. Window. She filled it up with coffee and I was like, it's what? Dope. It's so cool. I'll uh, post a picture on the, our gram of it. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. It's super cool. Shout so. out to Lara for getting it for me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, gosh. yeah. So I think those are the the couple things that Starbucks has going on right now. Uh, but other than that, like summer stuff, we got to live. Oh. Summer comes. What's the first thing you look forward to? The pool opening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So are you a public pool goer or do you have somebody you know that has a like their own pool? Um. Well, our place has a pool. Which, oh, right. At your apartment complex. Yeah. yeah. So I'll just usually go there. It's a public pool. Kinda. Yeah. Totally, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I mean, like, I feel like it's not much different than going to like a water park. True. Except it's probably cleaner than a water park. <laughs> a and I've been to water parks and I dig it. I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. Have any rules? <clears throat> hmm? have any rules for yourself like do you like do you have to wear like shoes in the pool or outside like are you like weird about it or no at, at like a public pool oh yeah you know what i mean like you know there's some stuff if going I'm, on if i'm <laughs> at the like our apartment one like no yeah not so much yeah but if i'm at like i don't really go to like a public pool yeah like a city pool or yeah something like that, you know? people are gonna yeah. pass on that one too not gonna lie <laughs> uh, i don't know i just can't get down with it not that like franklin has a nice pool but it's just hard like you know you see these kids coming in and out and you know what they're doing yeah for sure you know <laughs> you know what's happening yeah no <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah um well, have you ever been to the monon center no oh i've heard gosh. about it though that it's nuts is it cool uh yeah is it in carmel is that the one yeah yeah, it's got like a lazy river, which not the Greenwood doesn't, but like this is on a whole other level. There's like a lazy river. There's like the kid pools. They have that whole uh, a thing that like shoots the wave up and then you can go on the surfboard or on the boogie board and like... What? Yeah, it has a wave pool. That's cool. Oh, it's tight. And then they have like a bunch of different slides and stuff. It's uh, pretty legit. Yeah. And no, I've not been before. It doesn't really cost that much, but you have to drive to the north side. Yeah. But that's like the one that I will like actually go to because like my parents have a pool. Yeah. And then. Oh yeah. You guys have a pool. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> where, <laughs> where we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. And I still, even though I moved, I still have lake access. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's not as big, but still. So yeah. I, I much prefer the lake. I don't know why. There's something about it. I don't know. It's not that bad. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. There's something about it. Like, it's, it's, I don't know. It's different. And I usually, I don't know it's what warm creatures are in there, man. It's just fish. I can't. Just a little, I don't know. little bluegill. <laughs> I can't do it. Maybe like a, a snake here or there. I you hate know, you with all of <laughs> my being right now. I've only seen a couple. Stop. Are you serious? Oh yeah, a snake will swim across the lake <gasps> all day long. Did you not know that? No. Oh, I'm, totally. I'm not. Mm, totally. Not getting out anymore. <laughs> They're not gonna jump in a boat. I'm just saying, like, if we were in the boat, like, you'd be safe. But, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not getting out of the oh, boat. Oh, yeah, like getting in the water. <laughs> Slither snake. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. I hate you so much. Did you ever see that video? No. no. Okay. I thought maybe you might be too young. <laughs> too young. It was early on in the YouTube days, okay? This dude, he had, like, this snake hat on, and it, and he was like, I'm a slithery snake. Slither around the garden, and he like says it like that. He's like <laughs> catching me a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I hate snakes. So pools, pools. Well, there's no. Hopefully, there's no snakes in your pool. Yeah. There's normally just you know maybe a brown snake. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that took me a second. <laughs> Liv uh, always coming in clutch with the toilet humor. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to go there. So pool. What else? You have a trip planned this summer, right? We do. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. So it sounds cool. Brad has a month off of school for which is a miracle. I know. Just so everyone knows, it's a miracle. <laughs> Just haven't seen that dude in ages because of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, he will be done this week, actually, whoop, which is exciting. Whoop. And then um, our anniversary falls beginning of june so we're gonna go on a little road trip through tennessee in the carolinas we haven't have we don't have everything planned quite yet but we just we want it to be like a very active adventurous one so it's i'm gonna excited be fun. yeah it's gonna be fun doing like mountain stuff and white water rafting going to the beach mm, i'm so I hate excited you. I hate you. i'm so excited i miss the beach <laughs> so yeah, we, we're going to do that, and then he'll go back to school um, for the summer, and then we want to do, like, a lake day. Heck, yeah. Yeah, we might. We should do something like a 4th of July type of deal. That would be so fun. I'll tell we you should. what. That lake, the lake's where I am, so, so I'm on Prince's Lakes, and it's a small lake. All you can mm-hmm. do is ski on it, like, can't tube or anything. It's very specific, but... I have never seen a better fireworks show than what they yeah. put on. <laughs> it was so good. We went there last year, Gosh. right? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah right? That was really Something fun. Something long time. <laughs> yeah. We just been friends for so long that yeah. just <laughs> just runs together. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it was last year. But summer is my is my favorite season, hands down. I mean, I'd hope so. Oh my gosh. If you hate summer, I don't even I don't even know. Yeah. Well, I haven't had my first burn yet. I normally like to get my first burn in. Haven't had that yet. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing you didn't say that last episode with Lauren. Oh my gosh, right? She'd be triggered, man. She'd be not happy with me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, like doing the whole like cookout thing. Oh, oh cookouts are I the best. I do it every night. I've already grilled three times. Yeah. <laughs> you guys were the first ones. Woohoo. Yeah. I'm. Yeah, have, I'm you ever, have you ever done it? Oh, what? don't you guys have that little electric grill? Yeah, because... I saw that in your story the mm-hmm, other day. Because the, like, um, screened-in balcony that we have, we're not allowed to have, like, a fire yep. once we have to have an electric. has to be so electric. we have grilled. That's, a, like, George Foreman, right? Yeah, I had one of those. Like a glorified yeah, right? George Foreman grill. <laughs> it looks like a Weber, but it's a George <laughs> Foreman. You gotta plug that dude in. <laughs> it's true, you do. It works, though. It does. They work. It does. It is a little silly. You know, yeah, you kind of I mean, feel like I'm doing half the real job. I you know. know. I plug my grill in. I know. No. But the food's still good from it. Heck so. yeah. There's something right. about, isn't it weird that we have this obsession with cooking outside? We have all these modern advances <laughs> in technology. We have indoor plumbing and electricity and we can cook things in half the time. But yet we feel the need to go outside and cook something over an open fire. <laughs> Tastes better. 
Oh, it's fantastic. So good. Oof. I'm so looking forward to this. What's your favorite like summertime meal? Uh, let me think. I'm honestly like, I like all the staples, like a burger or a hot dog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Hook me up with something like that. That's the, the, the good old American summer meal, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Give me the hot dog. with Oh, hot dogs and Krispy Crowns. Oh my gosh. Um, we've not talked about the Krispy <laughs> Crowns. Yeah, we have a little problem. It's not. So, it's not. It is a problem. So Liv did not know what a Krispy Crown was. So I hope that you listeners that know what a Krispy Crown is, you just need to bombard don't, her Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Me. Please, please <laughs> do it. If you have a bag of Krispy Crowns at your house, anything. Bring them like, to my house if you want. Well, no, don't bring them to her house because she's she doesn't know it. She's, <laughs> she's not in the club, okay? I have a bag in my freezer right now. Hey, hey. I tried in the the day at your house, so <laughs> it's fantastic, not that I'm not, right? Okay, but see, they're they're not even that like so much uh, better. No, no, they're 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 great. I will give you that <laughs> they are. But like Chick Fil A has them. Like that's what they serve for breakfast. I understand, and that's why it was even more sad that you didn't know what a Krispy Crown was. So it's just like a flattened tater tot yeah. is what it is. It's like a it's like a, a penny sized tater tot. It's not a penny quarter. It's like a. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know. I don't use a penny. I don't is use not that big. I don't use, that was what I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> She's been giving me heck oh. all day. Gosh, someone has to. Anyways, they're good. Yeah, we're gonna the, put up. We're gonna the put science. Up. The science behind it Listen. is that it is. It's a thinner, so it gets crispier yes. because it's all about the crispness. I understand the situation at hand. I'm not explaining it for you. I'm explaining it for the people. So why? This, just because so that, the listeners the don't know either. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, they know. We're gonna put a poll up and we're gonna see crispy crowns or tater tots. Yes, tater tots are gonna win. I don't know. I don't know. Or we should we should put a post up of. Have you heard of either or like, there have you, you heard of these? Yeah. And then you have to pull Krispy Crowns <laughs> or Tater Tots. Stupid. Okay. So Krispy Crowns are part of your right. summertime meal. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. That and like, there is my one, like the one beer that I look forward to every summer. Cause it only comes out during the summer. What is it? The Bell's Oberon or as Kate and I call it the O'Baron. Oh so bells if you're listening (laughs) i haven't got to travel to michigan to go to the brewery yet but i'm just saying fantastic it is my favorite summer beer and it only comes out during the season like it's been out for maybe three four weeks now and i the minute i saw i didn't know that it like comes out seasonally yep yep. you can get the two-hearted all year long but like the that's oh is that like the one that's like orangey blue type bottle situation yep yep I always love um, cream we, ale. We really wish Sun we could King. turn the camera around and just show the, the, <laughs> the position that Kate is sitting in. I don't. We don't know what's going on with it. But that's it. Uh, he's like in the <laughs> fetal position. We will get him on the show soon. Yeah, and we'll talk about that more at the end. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. Um, what would you say? Uh, Sun King <laughs> cream, cream ale yep. is is my go to for summer. Yeah. Those are the top two, right? Like Oberon and Cream Ale and like, you know, if anybody from Sun King is listening, don't hate me. (laughs) Oh, so speaking um, of like summary time things, I just enlightened you guys, but I'll enlighten the listeners as well with Starbucks is like the strawberry or the acai refreshers. You can ask for it to be blended and it makes it into a slushy. You're welcome. There you go. There's your... There's your life hack well, like, for live today. How uh, <laughs> like that's perfect for like going to the pool. Like mm-hmm. grab one of those, sip on it. <laughs> nice and cool. Vodka in it. It's fine. <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, great. You just reminded me of something, but I lost it. I've been so scatterbrained today. Life hacks with live. I like that. That should be like a segment on our show. Right? Just do a segment every week. We have I, so have so, I have some good <laughs> life hacks, man. I'm, I'm going to bring that to the show more often. Do it. Deal. Um, let's see. Oh, so what's your summer like? What's your summer meal? What's your go-to? Hmm, I like basic. Big surprise. Yeah. We already had this conversation earlier. We did. Live so basic. I'm probably not. I know. It's a joke. Whatever. Um, <laughs> hot dogs over a fire. 
Mm-hmm. Love so it. Like, Some like mustard on it. Mm, give it to me. <laughs> um, and watermelon. Ugh. I love watermelon, but it has to be very like specific. If it's like mushy watermelon, you know, mm-hmm. don't. Don't play me like watermelon. Like crispy watermelon. Yes. Seedless, obviously. Yeah. Um, not a watermelon guy. You're not? No, it's like the one I... I don't know. It's kind of crummy because it, I think Brad's allergic to watermelon. Ooh. <laughs> it's just like kind of annoying. You know what to feed him when you're upset with him. <laughs> <laughs> Slip it into his food somehow. Hey, Brad. Into a drink. <laughs> Try this drink. It's Try real this good. Drink. <laughs> summery. <laughs> summery. <laughs> Sorry, Brad. He probably does he listen? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he probably listens to like the segments that he wants to listen to. You know, that would make total sense. Yeah. Like, nah, I'm out on this. Let's get for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, hot dogs, watermelon. Hot dogs, watermelon. I do like tater tots. But they have to be crispy. Oh, yeah. Tots. Oh, yeah. And then I love cottage cheese. I love it. Yeah. So much. You know, I, I forgot about cottage cheese. I haven't had it in so long. It is so good. So good. Man. Yeah. I might have to give me some now. <laughs> now, now you got me thinking about <laughs> it. I'm like, some of that. so hold on. Okay. So cottage cheese. Do you Large. like it? Large curd. Okay, that's all. I was not oh, okay. Expecting. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad that we have confirmed that your curd size preference. Um, uh, are sorry. you are you with putting like yes. the fruit on it? Mm-hmm. Pineapple. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just wondered. But like, I, I won't for this specific meal. Like, I won't put anything in it. Like, gotcha. I'll just eat it solo. But right. I am. I'm not above putting like pineapples or strawberries or like cucumber and tomatoes. Hmm. Okay. Right, you That's fancy good. it up. I know. Not always, but not always. I'm a purist. Give me just give me mine. <laughs> but I could eat a tub of oh. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. Right? It's one of those things you can't stop. And then I know. The only problem is if you don't <laughs> stop, like it'll it doesn't make you feel that great. You yeah. Know? It fills no. you up because it's just dairy. Yeah. <laughs> not good. No bueno. Yeah. Speaking of dairy, I don't know, this made me think of this. You know, I just literally had my first glass of milk in my entire life. Like a couple days ago. What? Like I've never just sat down and drank a glass of milk. I, I I'm speechless. That's never been my thing. I just don't really like it. I love milk. Which is always you know, the like reaction. That, that video of Oprah where she's like, I love <laughs> bread. Like that's yeah. me, but like milk. I love milk. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets milk. Oh you get a carton. You get a carton. You get milk and you get milk. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh uh, um where like this was really weird it. when like telling my friends or like i think when brad and i were talking about this for the first time whenever i eat popcorn i have to drink milk interesting and i've been like that for as long as i can remember mm, I like i don't like weird. water or soda or whatever if I'm at a movie theater, like I'm going to drink whatever's there, right? right? Cause there's not milk. You don't in have a huge theater. option. <laughs> but if I'm at home, tall glass of milk, hmm. I like put a, like an actual glass in the freezer, make it nice and cold. Mm. Interesting. So good. But I, I love I just, milk. I just never got it. Not your thing. But it was actually, it wasn't half bad. I'll tell you what, it does I help with it. heat. Oh. That was why it came out. I was like, I'll try it. This it is tasted why. pretty good. Yes. What, yeah. Whenever you eat something that's hot or spicy, milk helps to like. See, I've heard like mixed reviews, right? So I was like, eh, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, and it it, it did. Yeah, it does. I mean, for a split second. Cole <laughs> did a like a, what is it called? Okay, last so, dab yeah. challenge or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> that was the hashtag that popped up when I started to put it on there, so that's why okay. I, I put it on. Yeah, yeah. But um, the hot sauce itself is called the last dab, and I've pretty sure i've mentioned on the show if i haven't i feel horrible um last dab excuse me um you're welcome there's a show that i watch on youtube called hot ones you have to check it out um sean evans is the host and he interviews celebrities they're like on season eight now they interview celebrities and they do 10 wings and they go through the process and like each one gets hotter over time they've like partnered with a hot sauce maker and they've made their own hot sauces all the ones that they've made i've purchased online 
So Very I have hard. this little like collection of like some that are like pretty chill and some that are hotter. And I have one of the number tens. And so we, I, the other night, my cousin and I, we went ahead and gave it a shot. I've tried it before. I've, I mean, it's, I got it in the mail and tried it, but I had dipped a toothpick in it. A toothpick? <laughs> oh, you got to be careful. I mean, you can just I look can't. at it. So this time we both, we had a chopstick and we both dipped it in the top. And I mean, it was a minuscule yeah, little yeah. piece of sauce and it lit us up so bad. And it was probably about 30 minutes before the pain went away. It was just, it, it's, <laughs> you don't even know, you don't even taste it. It's just sheer pain oh, on your I, tongue. I would, I don't, and it moves back in your mouth slowly, but surely. And so he and I were sitting there. I mean, I was like drooling. Oh my God. And my eyes were watering, and he said I had these veins popping out of my head. Like, yeah, you did. We were both of you lit up, and uh, so he was like, "Do you have any milk?" And I didn't even think about. it. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." And so I got it out and poured us a glass of milk, and it, it helped so much. I cannot do the whole like hot spicy thing. Really? To me, it's not worth it. Yeah, it's fun. like if I can't taste it, yeah. and at my mouth is on fire, and it's going to produce a byproduct later that's not enjoyable <laughs> like i'm not i'm out on that so you know what's funny is i don't have that problem though i eat so many hot things and like Gross. hot wings i've tried a lot of different hot sauces I and i got into this recently so i mean it hasn't really been that long of a deal but still like it just it doesn't hit me like that so i just i don't know it's fun it's just different right i just like to try the little things and Speaking say i tried it of spicy this is actually a really funny story. I don't know if I've told you this before. We're going rogue. Going rogue. For a That's second. okay. It's one of those days. So, um, Brad was over at his brother and sister in laws, and they had made tacos, and like had all the toppings out and whatever. And Brad likes green peppers on his tacos, and so scooped up a bunch of those and did like this habanero, like or however you say that, yeah, salsa on it as well. So hot. Right? A little bit. Takes a bite of the taco. The green peppers were jalapenos. I was going to say, I'm guessing the green peppers were jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> Jalapeno. And he, like, whoo, he was up. lit up. He was, like, chugging milk, but I was not there for it. And so his brother and sister in law, like, told me about it later, like, from <laughs> their point of view. And it was really funny. That's fantastic. And he's not a big spicy food guy, right? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, neither of us are. That's really? okay. Uh, yeah. Man, we got off on a total tangent there. Um, so yeah. speaking of summer, the big thing that's going on right now, it's May. It's, it's, it's like... May. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. If I see one more of this, no. I know. <laughs> there's They're everywhere. Uh, but no, so we're in Indiana. Indy, like... Oh, race. It is. Everything is race right now. It so, is. Which is awesome. Love, love it. I've never been... What? Yeah. You have to go at least once. I know. It's horrible. I know. That's what it I've is heard. Hateful. Like I sat it's hateful. No, it's hateful. It's so hot. I mean, it was fun to say I went, right? Like I went to the one hundredth running. That was the one I got to go to, so it was really cool. It was special, but like where we sat was uncovered. Oh. So you're just like you just feel you're like out in the elements. You just feel like you're just baking in the sun and I mean, we got to see a wreck, which is the only time it gets really exciting. Um, and it was a good corner. It was a passing corner, so that was cool. But it's like, it's fun for the first maybe like 10, 20 laps. Yeah. But after that, you're kind of like, whoo. Yeah. I'm hot. I'm tired. My butt hurts from sitting on these stupid aluminum bleachers. Yeah. Like, the, There's the, like sweaty, drunk people all yeah. around you. The festivities are, are what's more fun. Like yeah. Friday, at like carb day mm -hmm. or like, you know, watch qualifications and Saturday there's normally a good concert. I mean, the, there's fun things to do um, and just be part of like the culture and know that right. it's kind of the, one of the coolest things that happens in our city. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's all fun. Yeah. But, uh, but it's exciting stuff. I've, I've seen a lot of, a lot of stuff going on and yes. Um, I think the only thing weird about this year is I don't think we're going to participate. We normally go every year to like carb day and yeah, last year was a lot of fun and previous years have been rough <laughs> to say the least, but yeah, yeah, I've never been, I don't know if it's really shoot or you're going to have to do it at least once, at yeah. least once, I'll probably maybe, go. maybe we'll do something next year or something. Okay. We're going to, I think we're going to have a party at my place this year. Cool. Let's yeah. Do it. Yeah. So we're inviting ourselves and there's. The, the coolest thing, like the, 
the part of it that is like nothing you'll ever see in your entire life that's worth just 60 seconds even is to go like on carb day and just like stand down by the track and let the cars go by Mm -hmm. because that vantage point as opposed to like sitting up in the bleachers when you're sitting up in the bleachers they look like they're coming by at a slower pace yeah and you're kind of like Okay, like it looks fast, sure. sure yeah. But when you're down by the track and they're zooming by, like you're literally on the fence <laughs> and they're coming by you, nothing like it in the world. Hmm. It's, I mean, it's literally a blink of an eye. And you're thinking like these dudes are out there racing these cars, like going around these corners. And literally as they go by us, you can't even, you, you have to like follow it with your eye or it's like whew, done. Yeah. And it's that fast. <laughs> I don't even, I couldn't even comprehend that amount of speed. Yeah. But it literally, it gives you chills Mm -hmm. because you can like feel the speed. Oh, it's crazy. And even people who don't appreciate like cars and like the sport or the engineering that goes into it, it's still, it'll get you every time. Yeah. You don't have to. It's, it's just the sheer (laughs) (laughs) insaneness of like defying physics, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. You can hear my cough. Yeah, you can't. (laughs) Oh gosh. So yeah. So that goes on. Let me see. We got pools. You got race, um, vacations, the good food. I mean, gosh. And just the fact that like you can go outside and not have to put on six layers of clothes. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Bless. my state, but man, it's just nice when that comes around the corner. Yes. And like all of the restaurants where you can sit outside and oh. eat. Oh, it's the it's the best. I'm not even gonna lie. Yes. It's my favorite. Yes. <laughs> like honestly, Love one of my it. favorite places to go that's close is Taxman. Yes. Um, because you can just sit outside on that patio and that's just great. chill. And it's one of the best that's patios, great. I think. There's I some good it. ones downtown, but I mean again, that's like like brothers. Forty five, fifty is minutes. Good. Brothers. <laughs> we used to go all the time. I know we did. <laughs> we did. But speaking of Taxman. I'm sure some people saw, hopefully, saw that we were there together. Yes. We got to go and hang out at Death and Taxes Day, which if you've never been, happens you're once sleeping. a year. Yeah, you, you're sleeping. Yeah, you were sleeping. Yeah. Uh, it is fantastic. It is. Which, uh, Tinker Coffee was there, and we got to talk to oh. them, which was pretty cool. Yeah. So hoping that there might be a collab in the future with them. Yes. We're excited. Super pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh man! Cool. Let's yeah. talk about moms. Mother's Day, man, is coming up. Mom's Day. Ma. Mama. That was S- weird. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't. That I apologize. That okay. made me feel so weird. That was weird. It's okay. Mother. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Let's lead off with your with your mom's story. Okay. So I have I have two. So two? I have two. We don't have time for that yeah. stuff, Liv. Yeah, we do. So <sighs> it's the twelfth, by the way. Correct? It's yes. the twelfth. So for yes. those men that are forgetting, remember your moms. Yeah, it's the twelfth. I yeah. keep. T- I'm saying it to remind myself as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it to remind Cade. I'm like, dude, we got to get mom some. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll get to that. One, so one, May twelfth. Five twelve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your um, story. So whenever I was in um, like junior church or whatever it was, like when you were younger. Junior the, church. Whatever. I mean, whatever you, some churches call it different things. Church of the youths. Yes. But like <laughs> when you're like little, little, you know what I'm talking about? What's little, little? Like. Like five? Yeah. Okay. Like. Sunday school. But, yeah, Sunday school. Sunday school. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that. Okay. Okay. So Liv just started going to church. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly with the story I'm know, about right? to tell. <laughs> when I was going to church when I was five. Yeah. Sorry. So anyway, um, Mother's Day obviously falls on Sundays. And so when we were in church, they had us make like cards for our mom to like give them whatever. Yeah. And um this one, I, I think I was like four when I did this card. So someone wrote it for me. So they asked me, I love my mommy because, and then (laughs) what's your answer? Fill in the blank. And mine was so, I don't know. It's just like, so funny is I said, you let me clean my room and tell me about Jesus. (laughs) Like you you, let me, you let me, you let me clean my room. (laughs) 
<laughs> you were a good kid, weren't I, you? I was. Please, can I clean my can room? I please. <laughs> Breaking the <to> mold. <laughs> uh, but that's like all I said. And then scribbles. Mm. Love, Olivia. Your name's Olivia? No, <laughs> I know. It's weird. I thought it was Elizabeth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's a story for another day. But yeah, I just, my mom sent that to me the other day and I just thought that was funny that I said, you let me clean my room. Thanks for letting me clean oh my, my room, mom. I appreciate you. Come clean my room now, mom. <laughs> Hold on. I have another. You have another? What are you doing? Oh, look at you. Okay. Okay, here we Hold go. Hold on, this is a good story. <laughs> uh, okay, so this was in third grade, I believe, art class. And we were making gifts for Mother's Day. And our art teacher told us to make these koozies. And then you add, like, those foam-type, like, stickers yeah. on there. And I put on there, Happy Mother's Day. Love, I love you. And I did, like, flowers and ladybugs on this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> look, you can't even, can't. like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you can read it, right? Okay. Happy. Happy Mother's Day. Yep. Okay. I love. Yeah. So. Oh. I. <laughs> I <laughs> Happy Mother's. Mo- mother's. Mo- motors. So oh, motors. I, motors Day. I left <laughs> out the age and Mother's <laughs> oh Day. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this gets better because. My <laughs> my mom, she keeps like all of our art stuff, yeah, like whatever. Mom, and right? this is this has now been a running joke in our house. But I literally did not know that I had misspelled this until I got into high school oh my gosh. or after. And so whenever my mom would use this koozie, she would put <laughs> her <laughs> mom. Where my mom? <laughs> oh my gosh! Liv it has li- is literally born and raised in Indiana. And has some weird Boston accent that comes in. You will hear it is on, by the way, it is on a recording now. She refuses to believe that it's true. Mom. I hate you so I much. I made this for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, mom? Ma- <laughs> Sorry. Ma'am. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, mom. Oh my God. Mom. Oh my God. Dang it, mom. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Anyway, Anyways. so she, whenever she would use the um, koozie, my mom would just like put her hand. Oh my gosh! Did I do it again? Oh my gosh! My mother would put her hand over the word that was supposed to say Mother's Day, so that way I wouldn't see that the H was gone and make Aww. me feel bad. And then she so she hid it from she you. hid it and she told me in high school that I misspelled it. She's like, sweetheart, we need to talk. And I was like, oh my! I was like, what is that? What are you in third grade? Eight? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Great question. Whatever doesn't matter. Anyway, Motors. So <laughs> now it's a running joke in our house that we just say Motors Day. That's fantastic. So I thought that was funny. I wanted to bring that so I could show you. That was a good story. I like that. That is so, hilarious. Happy Motors Day. Yep. Wow. All you motors out there. <laughs> All you motors out there. All you moms out there. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't know if I have any good, like, Mother's Day. Well, maybe, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to pass on that one. Mom might be mad at me for telling <laughs> that story now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so, do you guys, like, have any Mother's Day traditions? Uh, You know, we used to just, like... You know, on Sundays, we'd like go to lunch or whatever, like get everybody together. Yeah. And it's kind of morphed into now, like mom just wants to get away. (laughs) So like (laughs) she she wants her alone day. Well, no. So like, I mean, just like get away from like just life in general. So like last year we went to Nashville and spent a weekend in Nashville and just ate good food and hung out. And, you know, every time mom asked for a picture, we took a picture with her, you know, like Mm -hmm. do all the little things that normally you're like. Mom, quit it. Mom, stop it. <laughs> uh, so that was fun. And I know we've we've talked about maybe doing it again this year, but we'll see. Yeah. They're in the middle of the remodel of the house. So, you know, there's lots of stuff going on. But So it's been a tradition since we were little with me and my four siblings. Ooh, that the every air t- conditioning turns on and it scares me every, every time, time the so air conditioning cold. turns on. It just like blasts us. <laughs> anyway, um, for Mother's Day and Father's Day. Like we would go with my our mom or our dad and make the other parent breakfast and bring it to them in bed with like gifts. And we've done oh, that since we were okay. like little. That's nice. And so then like it was just a tradition. So we did it when we were older, right? Yeah. Still living in the house. 
And so it's supposed to be like, you know, a surprise, like right. they don't know what's happening. Right. So like, oh, when, wow. When we were younger, <laughs> they would like still pretend like they were asleep. And then we'd be like, happy Mother's Day. And then they'd wake up and be like, oh, my gosh. I can't you believe you did yeah. this. <laughs> and so now, like, we're just obnoxious about it, except yeah. I don't live at home anymore. So I won't be there when they actually do it. So it'll just be like Lauren yelling at my mom in the morning. <laughs> I made you breakfast. Mom, get out. I made you breakfast. Yeah. So that's awesome though. I like that. That's a good tradition. Um, and then we all get together like after church and hang out. So yeah. yes. Yeah. Ho- well, I'm trying to, yeah, the pool is open. So maybe we'll just have a pool day. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Make yeah. mama some mojitos. I know. So now, <laughs> um, since I have turned 21, my gift to my mom I usually do like something smaller, but I always do like a nice like uh, cocktail mm-hmm. for her to drink. Dig it. I usually don't let anyone else drink it, just her and I. Right. You're like, nope, <laughs> this is us. Sorry. <laughs> you're like, this is my gift to you from me. Yeah. Okay. Happy Motors Day. Yeah. Happy Motors Day. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do all the time now. Hashtag so. Happy Motors Day. <laughs> oh, the worst. You've got to put that in. Oh, I for sure will. Okay. So, so we happy, have. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Yes. Okay. Just. Thank you. Thanks for letting us clean our room. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for birthing us, birthing us as I well. Know. Oh my gosh. Ew. Gross. Why do you say ew? <laughs> <laughs> that was weird too. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Uh, so much. So thanks, befo- mom. Before we move on to the next thing, okay. I think there's one more thing we should touch on. Drawing. Um, tomorrow is. Oh my gosh. Why are we talking about this? Tomorrow's the best day in the whole world. Well, Which technically, okay. yet Sorry. or tomorrow, <laughs> not, yesterday. Not <laughs> your tomorrow, but our tomorrow. <laughs> May the 5th. You <laughs> best holiday. Cinco, Cinco de, de Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> oh, he went there. Okay. Sorry, I just. Tacos. Oh, I'm so mad tacos, at myself. Tacos. Margaritas. Tacos. Kay, do you still have your. Uh, mm. Hat, what's it called? A sombrero. Sombrero. A sombrero. Yep. Caden's got a big sombrero. I have a shirt that says "Tacos in a Heart." <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> I will be wearing that. I'm so the excited. The one thing that I I actually have somewhat of a tradition on Cinco de Mayo. Normally, I shave to a mustache. <laughs> do you serious? I have oh I God. have been known to do so, <laughs> and I've been growing it out. So I would have a pretty darn good do mustache. Do it. I, I, oh, Audrey would be mad. I am begging you. <laughs> and it's on Sunday, so I'd have Do to go to church it. with a mustache. <gasps> <laughs> oh, no, wait, the girls are sick, so I don't. <laughs> no! Oh, my gosh. Uh, I will. Okay, but. I will for shave real, to a mustache if Kate will do it with me. Deal. Just, for, just for Cinco de Mayo. I'll do it with you, too. Yeah! <laughs> I live doing the mustache. Doing the stash. Rock. Doing the stash, brah. Rocking the stash. Okay. So. I guess what we should say is, I hope you had a good and safe Cinco de Mayo. Safe keyword. Yeah, safe. Don't be going we crazy have to say on that. those Mars, okay, <laughs> you know? people? Mom. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Mom, Mom, lay off the Mars. <laughs> Pam. Dang it, Pam. I think I can clear up the whole Pan, Pam issue. Pam, Mama, Bubba, <laughs> Pam, Mama. There's two M's, two M's. <laughs> ruin that just like a aaron like aaron and pam like yeah. so many people just ruin names like that <laughs> so it's good. okay um oh, okay so great. sorry i just no, had to good. insert that no, so it's yes so last so but not least we uh live put out um and asked for some questions for today i did as well and we put it out on uh the uh life and lattes instagram as well yes so we have a series of questions here um that we're going to try to answer and we yes. will, I think a uh, good idea. We'll give everybody a shout out this time. Yep. So Let's do uh, it. if you want to start with yours and then I'll do mine last. Cool. And, okay. What do you got? So I have our first question here comes from Elysia. She says, what is your go-to order at your favorite hometown restaurant? Hmm. Okay. Do you have something off the top of your head? Um, immediately. I know basic is tax man. We've talked about that quite a few times. Yep. Is their burger, but specifically their French fries with beer cheese. <sighs> their fries it's are good. a dream come true. That's what comes to mind <laughs> immediately. 
because hometown yeah. seems like it's more of like a local type deal. Oh yeah, no for so, sure. Um, that's my vote. Yeah, I'm trying to think like like a go to type of thing. Like I'm just gonna go straight to like the town where I live in. Um, there's we only have like two or three restaurants, and the one easy thing is always pizza, right? Yeah, yeah. So Eddie's Pizza is the pizza place. Been there forever as long as I can remember. Um, they have this pizza called the Hundred Pounder. And they say it's called that because it's supposed to have 100 pepperonis on it. What? What it's like, like if a bunch of people come over and you just need a pizza, like it's literally five seconds down the street. Like you can just go drive and pick up a pizza real yeah, fast. Yeah. That's like to go to with a family order breadsticks. The breadsticks are bomb. So right, shout right. out to that. Cool. So shout out to that. Just a good local for sure. Like a staple. Like it's just the same thing every time, you know? Yeah. Other places I'll get something different every time. Yeah. So. So I've got some, we have some would you rather questions. I think people yes. probably know that we've been doing some <laughs> would you rathers. And so they don't even uh, listen to if you went yeah. for the would you rather. <laughs> so my first one here actually is from my mom. Yay. Pam. She said, <laughs> would you rather listen to someone chew extremely loud? She knows me. She knows you. <laughs> or smell the worst smell ever. Oh, okay. You go first. Listen. Cause I'm interested. She should have put like a timeline on there. Like, is it forever or is it for a small amount of time? Let's just say it's a one time event. You know what I mean? Okay. Like it's a one time, like, okay. However long it takes to eat a dinner. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. So we're probably thinking about an hour. Okay. I feel as crazy as this is going to sound. I feel like I would say something extremely chewing extremely loud because if I'm smelling the worst smell ever, I'm probably going to legitimately throw up uh, because right that yeah. has happened to me. before. Uh. <laughs> and so I'm like, all right, I can just like, I, I can talk the whole time during the yeah. meal and yeah. just like drown out your disgusting chewing. chewing. Yeah. So I'm right there. With that's you. my vote. Okay. I thought that maybe you'd be freaked out enough about chewing that you might pick the other one. But there's something about a smell. Yeah, man. Like, and if it's the worst smell ever, like we're talking above like decomposing, you know what I'm just saying? Like <laughs> yeah. decomposition, which I've heard is probably the worst. Yeah. Like, you're probably going to throw up. Pass on And that. I'm going to pass on to that whole experience. Yep, I can, I can sit there and be like, okay, like I'm a little annoyed. Yeah. At least I wouldn't be sick. Exactly. So thanks, yep. Pam. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, Bethany asks, would you rather fart every time you sneeze or cry every time you laugh? Huh? You answer first. Interesting. That's a tough one. I honestly am going to say cry every time I laugh because that means it's a good <laughs> laugh. You See, know what I mean? Uh, like it's a good joke or something good happened and you just yeah. laugh it so hard. But that like... Hopefully, it w- is it does it transfer into like say, a like a sad cry? You know, <laughs> you get done <laughs> <laughs> straight from happy to sad. Yeah, but here's the thing: I cry almost every time I laugh really hard. Like tears roll right, down. Right, my, like that's just. I wonder if it that would be for every degree of laugh. Like if I was like, <laughs> I just yeah, start you crying. start just a little like, a little chuckle, like, like a <laughs> chuckle. You just text tears. someone, lol, and you start crying. I don't know. I um, would just probably. I just one of those. I couldn't, that would suck. Like every time you sneeze, you fart. Yeah. Like you're in public, right? That's what I'm saying. Like any, like, you're in like, but wait, if you hold in a sneeze, does that mean that you still do it? Cause I mean, no, you still sneeze, you're not but sneezing. you're like, well, you know, I mean, you still kind of do oh. it, right? It's just holding it in instead of like, I don't know. That's audibly. a whole other thing. Hmm. Holding in a sneeze. I'll take the crying when laughing. Is pretty much like you're just punishing yourself. Uh, for sure. Just is. Yeah. I feel like every time my eyeballs are going to pop out of my face. (laughs) I'm just saying, you know, I mean, you're like, true. And everybody looks at you like, (laughs) like, are you okay? (laughs) Like, no, I was just like a second away from death. Oh my gosh. (laughs) So dramatic. Uh, You know me. Okay. This is a good one. Um, not, I mean, whatever. Um, Alicia, one of our fans, listeners asked us quite a few questions but she asked what is your top five travel bucket list hmm. do you know yours i could probably i could probably rifle some off for you all right um i say like number one's the bahamas okay okay um okay. 
I want to go. I don't know if I could put them in a perfect top five, but okay. I can give you five. Like I'd like to go to Colorado. Um, haven't been. I uh, want to go to Montana. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I'd like to visit California at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then probably like on that list as well, like do one Euro trip and like go to like Italy or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, pretty sure that's five. So I wasn't counting. I'll take your word for it. Cool. Cool. Um, Brad and I have a goal to go to every like 50 states. There you go. So, but so I want to go. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do those. Because I know I like know that those are gonna happen, right? So okay, okay. Um, I chose Greece. Okay, really want to go there. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. I love Mediterranean food. I just it is bomb. Want that? I want to go to Africa somewhere. I so want to go on a like safari. Yeah, I yep. think I think I would legitimately cry real tears. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. So, um, Paris. Naturally, yep. Yep. Italy, mm-hmm. amazing, and then Switzerland. There you go. That is my. That's top, a good list. That's my top five. That's your top five out of country list. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I like it. So, that's that. Um, we have some more would you rather's. Um, on a plane. This comes from Gringo Face Designs. Okay. Um, on a plane. Would you rather sit next to a clown or Freddy Krueger? Take a clown. He's not going to haunt me in my dreams. Clowns haunt me in my dreams. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Not in the same way, just saying. Clown can't actually attack you through your dreams or kill you in a dream. I think that... (laughs) He'd be sitting there with his long knife-like fingers like going... Super creepy. Hey, what's up? (laughs) Hey, I'm Freddy Krueger. I I think <laughs> Please that Please don't watch the YouTube video this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. I think that I would also choose a clown even though I am I have a fear of clowns. So. Yeah, I just man. Um the same person also said, "What is your go-to coffee?" He said, "I think it's a he." Said, "Mine <laughs> is Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew or Toffee Nut Soy Latte." My I'll say mine because I know. Yeah, go for it. Um, no matter the time of year, I love iced coffee. Mm-hmm. Um, but do you have a specific I, coffee? Uh, like just doesn't matter as long no. as it's iced. Like I mean, I like doing just a vanilla iced coffee or a caramel iced coffee. Okay, just really, that's just a go-to. Right. Like if I'm panicked looking at a menu, I'm uh, like uh, iced I'll coffee. Take that. <laughs> that's what I do. So I would say like my go-to at home, I always buy the Starbucks breakfast blend. Okay. It's just, it's, it's just chill enough, but still, you know, still has enough flavor that you can mix it with anything. It Mm -hmm. just, it works. It's a very multifaceted coffee. Yes. And you can find it anywhere. Um, but then like, if I'm going to Starbucks, then like my go-to is always like the iced white chocolate mocha. Okay. That's my go-to. Cool. So. This one at home and on the road. (laughs) Um, this one's a little bit more in depth. Okay. I'm good with that. More serious. So what you got? Um, what are your love languages and how does that impact the relationships you were both in? Wow. Okay. So we could probably do a whole episode on love languages and like all of that. So maybe try to just, yeah, give it a quick little down synopsis. I would say my love language is quality time. Um, how that impacts, I would say, especially like in the season of life that we're in right now of mm-hmm. just like not having a whole lot of time. Yep. Um, it's hard to sometimes have that quality time because you have such limited time and when you're busy all the time, sometimes the time that you have with people, you just like want to chill. Yep. So it's just like not as intentional, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, I don't know. That's a short okay. for me. I see. Time. Quality time. Mm-hmm. Um, my whole thing is uh, like being unpredictable and like doing these like little unexpected gestures. 
Okay. Like whether it's like just grabbing a bag of chocolate you know, and just having it there when she comes over, you know what I mean? Or like maybe picking out a movie or setting up a date night or something Mm -hmm. like without her knowing, like those are the little things I know that normally like you can just kind of tell that, you know what I mean? That just kind of like shows without saying anything, you know, verbally. Mm -hmm. Those are like the little things that just kind of remind her like, yeah, you know, what's, what's yours though? Like how this is going to sound like super cheesy and like Dr. Phil, but like (laughs) how, like how do you feel loved? Um, like, like I said, for me, like quality time, like I want to like have quality time with people. Some is right. like, is physical touch or words of affirmation. I would say service. Usually it, it would be the affirmation type yeah. thing. Like, and I think that's sort of a dude thing. Like it's yeah. sometimes it's just nice to know that like the things you're doing and everything is like appreciated Yeah, and noticed. You know? Yeah. 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 You know, I think that's Brad's but, too. Yeah. Cause I just, I don't know. That's one of those things put a lot of time and effort sure. into, you yeah. know, whether it's, you know, going to work and you know, making sure that, you know, part of it is, you know, doing all those things and making money to be able to go and like, yeah, go spend Do just things. time. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, went to Chicago, like all those things aren't cheap right. and, you know, you put a lot of time and effort into making sure all those things can happen yep. logistically and financially. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's just, you know, that little like, Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Goes a long way. Appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate you. Okay. Boo. <laughs> good i have um one more that someone okay. asked us from south africa this is our friend yeah. tion he asked about um the way that you put toilet paper on like the holder this do could you be do a whole over episode too. or under oh my god could be a whole freaking episode <laughs> over do, yeah over if you do Should it if you under. do it under no no just no no. Mm. No. Be like, were you born in a barn? <laughs> were you raised in a barn? Under. No. 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 Over. Yes. Over. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm All glad right. we're on the same yep. page there. Okay. Uh, do you have the screenshot of mine? Oh, yeah. I forgot. It's, Sorry. It's okay, Liv. Forgot I'll forgive it. you. This time. Yeah, just this time. <laughs> um. Okay. Do you want to read them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I definitely wanted to throw this one out. Old ABW. Austin Williams threw this one at us. Uh, he said, would you rather fight one man-sized raccoon or 10 regular-sized raccoons? <gasps> oh, my gosh. That's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And I was thinking, I've I've had time to, like, oh. percolate. And I don't know. I just, I don't know what. I'm that's scared. a tough one. Raccoons are sketchy. Because I, I immediately think of Elf when that raccoon, like, jumps on his face, which yep. I don't know if that's actually realistic. No. But they're scary. Oh, they're super sketch. And they, like, hiss at you, man. Could you imagine a man-sized raccoon? I don't, I Both don't know. are super sketch. But if you have to pick but one. I think I would I would do the man-sized raccoon. Gotcha. Because there's at least one of him, and I can focus my attention on just that rather than being attacked all over by several. Gotcha. You know? I'm going with the 10 small ones. Are you? I feel like I have a better chance with the small guys because I feel like one man-sized raccoon wouldn't that like amplify a raccoon to like you know super strength i suppose but if i'm gonna die at least it's quick (laughs) right just done yeah one yep i don't know (laughs) that's my uh, i I like it i like it uh let's see so then gringo face designs also asked me a question and said uh, what's your desert island movie? The one movie you, you could watch for the rest of your life. I thought oh, that was a great question. That is a good question. Oh no. I know. I know. I know. What's yours? Do you know? It would, I'm trying to think, um, what's a movie I've seen a ton. Um, off the top of my head, if I just had to rattle one off, I would probably say like, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Wonderlust. You ever seen I that? I knew you were going to say that. I, just, I literally, oh, I should I've seen it, it so much. It's so quotable. It down. So quotable. And I'm like, I could probably sit there and laugh and like watch it for. Forever. Yeah. It's a good, it's, it's a good, a good one. I it's don't, in my top. I, yeah. I don't know. Like immediately I want to say hot rod. <laughs> such cool beans. Um, cause Love it's that movie. Funny. But then have you ever seen Oh Brother Where Art Thou? Yeah. I love movie. that movie too. Great movie. Because yeah, I don't know. Those love me some Clooney. 
Me too. What was I watching with George Clooney the other day? And I was like, dang. Oh, it was uh, The Perfect Storm. You ever seen that movie? I have not. It's about, he, they, he's a captain of a fishing boat. And they get stuck in the eye of the storm. It is so good. I'll have to watch it. Speaking. It's got Marky Mark in it too. Speaking of movies. The new. The new Ted. I know. The new Ted Bundy movie with Zac Efron. Have you heard of that? Oh, I have. Yes. Okay. Did you see it? No. no. It's on Netflix. Oh, okay. As of yesterday, I believe. Oh, okay. So I'm like really stoked to watch, have to watch that. that. Yeah. I've seen a lot of the teasing like that. He mm-hmm. did a good job. Yeah. Or like they were showing the transformation. Yeah. So. It's creepy how much he looks like him. But mm. anyway. We'll check it out. I know me too. I'll talk about cool. it later. Well, that wraps up the question. We, we should do like a, oh, we should do like a murder <laughs> episode. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Could be given it out. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So that wraps up the show. Uh, there are a couple things that I wanted to touch on real Just fast. Do some housekeeping. Yes. So, uh, guest episode went really well. Super pumped on that. Um, we are working on getting more guests scheduled. Yes. So, uh, we just want to make sure and give people enough time. This week just didn't work out. So, uh, you were stuck with us. Um, so, we're figuring that out. Again, if you have any interest at all coming on, send us a message. I mean, have her, you know, what, what, pick your medium. Don't care. Send us a message and we would be more than glad to get in contact and, yeah. uh, see if there's something we can't chat about. Um, but we're working on getting the list together now. We're starting to schedule people. So that'll be fun. Um, we just talked about another idea where I think we're going to do another kind of like bonus episode type deal. Ooh, I'm excited yeah. about this one guys. So we're thinking maybe like <laughs> once a month we're going to record, we normally record this in the morning, but we're going to do like an afternoon recording and maybe the guest thing will be kind of a surprise. Um, but we're going to switch out our lattes and maybe try some different craft beers. And we'll, it's going to be our after, uh, after hours podcast type of thing. So it might be a little bit longer, but we might just try something a little different. So yeah. watch out for that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I think that's like my announcements for now. Yeah. We appreciate you listening. Um, Liv has something that she needs to say, though, before we get done. I do. About what we've been doing. You didn't look, did you? What? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. The giveaway. Oh! At the giveaway. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Um, by this time you guys listening to it, we will have already announced our winner. Ooh, ooh. However, we will have more giveaways in the future. So uh, yeah. Totally. Stay tuned for that. Yes. So we appreciate. We extended a little bit because we wanted to give you. more people opportunities and we had a lot of people come in. So that was awesome. Yes. Uh, we're super excited to to finalize this and get it sent off because it is quite the goodie basket, I to keep as we it said. For myself. Yeah, we all wanted to keep it. So That's what I already said. But so super excited about all that. Yes. Uh, stay tuned. Yep. Tell your friends, tell your family. Uh we you know the drill. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Yeah, thanks, Subscribe sir. and oh, yeah. uh, give us a review. That'd be great. Yeah, we would love to hear some feedback for sure because yep. we're doing this for you. We're having fun with it, and uh, if there's anything that you want, you think that we should take away or add or little tweaks here and there, we are listening. So we appreciate everybody, appreciate and you. thanks for listening to episode 10. Here's to another 10 more. Life and lattes. Cheers.